Hello everyone and welcome back to another Persona 5 discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 things that I would want to see in Persona 5 and also the Night of the Phantom. The Night of the Phantom, for those who do not know, is a Persona 5 oriented live show that's going to be happening on the 5th of February. Why am I so excited about this? No, I am not attending the concert myself, but the developers of Persona 5, the Persona team, hinted that shortly after New Year's we would have information about the new games. And if you go to the website p-chjplive, there is a countdown. We had a very similar countdown before, and we got oh, pretty much the announcement of Persona 5 and the chairs again. Those stinging chairs. So, I'm, a, I'm really excited. It could be, you know, just show off another character. It could be literally release date, uh, main themes, it's everything. Like, the floodgates could open and all the Persona 5 news gets launched at the same time. Nobody knows. But I'm gonna be on the optimistic side and say, yeah, that day, we're gonna know pretty much everything about Persona 5. So to celebrate, I'm gonna talk about the top five things I want to see implemented in Persona 5. Now, these are in order of importance to me. This is my opinion. Sorry if they do not collide with yours. But I thought this would be a fun type of video just to see, you know, what cool things Atlas could put in the game. I'm not gonna come out and say, Atlas, I'm but a fool. Do not listen to me. You know what I want. Because they do kind of know what I want. But at the same time, I think they could do a couple things better. So let's get started. Number five, character customization. Now, I do not mean character customization as we can change the appearance of our main character. I'm talking strictly about his clothes. Now, him being probably a Japanese high school student, that guy has a school uniform. You're not allowed to change your school uniform. Everyone's gotta wear the same thing. And that's fine and all. But after school, on the weekends, he can wear whatever he wants. And I think that would be a cool idea to put into the game. This would be a cool way for some customization options, because if you look at the other games, really you just have two guys. And yeah, you could wear those armors in the dungeons, but really walking around town, you just had your one outfit, or maybe another one if it was winter. I don't know. You could see it as kind of a silly addition, which is why I put it at number five. I realize it's kind of not that amazing. But, what if, depending on the clothes and what you choose to wear, you could, you know, get other people, start social links with you, maybe some chick thinks you're cool because you're wearing a pea coat or something? I don't know. Or if that doesn't work, that's too hard to implement or just kind of a stupid feature, which I admit it's maybe kind of not really that important. Make it to where the armor that we get in dungeons that lets us customize our character's appearance be used on other armor. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's say in Persona 3 FES, I find that one armor very early on in the game with the Japanese symbol on it. And I want to use that for the rest of the game because it's the coolest thing I've ever seen, ever. Wow, that was a really smart sounding sentence, huh? But it has terrible stats. What if I could put that appearance of that armor onto other armor's stats and basically give that armor stats of other armor? or weapons, I guess, would also apply to this in some way. I think that would be really cool, so you could run around whatever you want, look like what you want when you're killing shadows and stuff, and still be, well, pretty strong because the stats would be the same as the other things. Probably not an important addition, but hey, I think it'd be cool. So that's why I put it at number five. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say, so let's move on to the next one. Number four. Larger areas. This means the world to me. As a guy that plays a lot of games, I love to explore. And I would love it if I could do this in Persona as well. But unfortunately, the games were on the PS2, which did not have a lot of RAM. So you couldn't render a lot of people in one area, and you couldn't really make that big of a place without a bunch of loading zones. And I would love it if Persona 5 took advantage of the fact that our main character is in a giant city. And there's tons of places to see, tons of people to see, and tons of things to look at. I hope they do that. Think about Metal Gear Solid 3. Don't know if you played it. Kind of a weird analogy. But hey, it, wor it works. Shut up. 
Snake moved around in very small maps, is what they were called. And you went from one to one, and things really didn't interact with each other. Persona 3 basically functioned the same way, since they're both on the PlayStation 2 and the PS2. And they have a lot of RAM! So I really hope that now that we're running on PS3 and PS4 hardware, that we can finally get rid of this limitation and have really large areas. Because, well, that'd be really cool. That's really all I gotta say about it. Maybe our dungeons this time around could also be all around the city or something and not just in one centralized area, which probably wouldn't be that convenient. But it'd be cool. So yeah, I hope they do it. Moving on to the next thing I want to see. So Number three. Please, please, Atlas, do not bring any characters from Persona 3 and 4 back. I... No people are gonna think, wow, I really do not agree. I love those characters and want to see them back. But no, I seriously don't. I don't want to see you come back. I don't want to see Rise come back. I don't want to see Junpei come back. They had their games. They had nine years to be relevant. It's time we just had a completely new cast. Let's be honest with ourselves, Persona 3 and 4 are kind of old games, and we need to broaden the demographic. Let's let these games come and introduce new characters that we fall in love with all over again, and not keep us shackled down to the old characters. Now, I'm not saying there can't be references, like maybe a teddy doll on someone's desk or something, or maybe just some references or something, but no, I don't want Elizabeth or Margaret to come back. They had way, they had so many games to, you know, be characters. Let's have some new characters to interact with. And no, I don't I don't want Margaret to come back with the new hairstyle that's just it's not cool. We should have new Velvet Room attendants too. Not I I want to keep Igor, but the fact remains you're probably he's probably not gonna come back, honestly. He's kind of been missing. I saw, I, I don't really know. Maybe he'll be a super boss, that'd be kinda cool. Fight Igor. Yeah, that'd be I'd be okay with that. <laughs> But maybe just just completely new game, no callbacks to Persona 3 or 4. I don't want the Persona 3 hero to come back and have to save the world or something. That's not cool. Just let the new guys come in and do their thing. And let's let the old characters rest a little while. Hey, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but it's my opinion. Speaking of which, here's my next one. Segway. Number two. I want shorter social links. Now this is gonna be an extremely unpopular opinion because people like this game because it's so long. People like the extremely fleshed out characters and I agree, I like the social link events too. But the fact remains that some social links just go on for maybe one or two chapters too long. Some of which I honestly think, yeah, do need to have 10 parts, but not every single social link event needs to be 10 episodes. Let's be honest with ourselves. Now, some people could see this as, okay, they should never do that, but I just think 10 is a really, really long number and can maybe be shortened down to eight. I think that's like the really good number. Not all the way down to like five, that would just, I don't know, I would not like that unless the social link events themselves were super long. But think about it, sometimes you'll just have those social link events, you know, you choose to be with that person for the whole day and it's kind of a bummer. Maybe the scene you did was kind of just boring and there wasn't a lot of atmosphere or action at all, it's just talking, kind of boring. I want to see less of that and more engaged events in the game. That's what I honestly think Persona 5 needs to do to keep the people playing interested. Always have our two characters doing something interesting. And not just be in the same area every single day. That's what I want. And if it takes less social link days to do that, I'm fine with that. I just want the best possible game. And maybe a little less filler. We're already at the last one. Dang. That kind of just flew by, huh? <laughs> Anyways. Now on to the final thing that I want to see in Persona 5. And the most important change they need to make. Number one, I want to see new models in Persona 5 for Personas and Shadows alike. For the love of God, we have had these models forever. Like, since the PS2 was announced, they're that old and we are still using them. The most recent game was Persona 4 Golden, a Vita game. Think about that. 
early PS2 to Vita. They have lasted us that long. Now, I'm not going to say that these designs are bad. They are most definitely not. Kanako's designs are, to this day, still classics. But some of their 3D models are just plain awful. Look at Odin. He's just a purple naked guy with a spear. They could do so much more to improve this character. It, 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 just, it just tears me apart that they still have not changed the models. We've had them for so long. I, I know I'm just repeating myself, but it really bugs me. As a guy who loves Shin Megami Tensei and plays the games almost every chance I can get, this just eats me up. Trying to show people the SMT series when we have these really dated graphics is incredibly hard. Now, I'm not saying that the designs themselves are bad or the artwork is bad, but the fact remains we're going to have to change them eventually. For the Super Nintendo and Shin Megami Tensei 1, we had sprites. For Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, we had to have models. And now that we're running on PS3 and PS4, we have to either have texture rebalances or just flat out new models for Personas. There's no way around it. This is the, honestly the reason that I think Persona 5 has taken them so long to create. It's because they had to make a lot of new models and a lot of new textures. And honest to God, if there were less Personas in Persona 5 than even Persona 3, I don't care. I just want them to look cool and just be great. And hey, maybe, you know, this will be like the catalyst for more console Shin Megami Tensei games. And they'll use those models for another 10 years. I'd be okay with that. I don't even care. I just I just want better looking personas to summon. That's honest to God all I want. And maybe some updated artwork. If you think I'm crazy, look at Loki in Persona 3. And then look at him in Persona 4. One is definitely better. Just saying. And as for the shadows, I like what they did with the whole idea, you know, deep meaning behind all of the regular enemies but the fact remains if i have to fight more bird personas i'm gonna pull my hair out and i know i'm not the only one out there probably a little bit on the nitpicky side on the shadow side because i mean they're not terrible some of the designs are still awesome and memorable but the fact remains yeah they probably should have a texture update or hey just make totally new shadows i'd be okay with that too i mean i'd probably miss a couple of them like this guy stinging funny to look at but I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks this, but I really hope they do it. And yeah, that's pretty much our discussion about Persona 5. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of improv video. I usually write a script, but I was like, eh, screw that, I got time for that. And we just decided to go with this type of style. So let me guys know what you thought. Maybe what your top five most wanted features for the game is going to be like. And see you in another week, I guess, because chances are we're going to have some news about Persona 5. So that'll be pretty awesome. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next Persona 5 video.